Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another edition of Binary Life, a channel that teaches new developers how to code by solving I'm bring by my screen by solving algorithms so that and so that you can see how the thinking process is done and how the solutions come to life. So they will solve a seven Q cutter. Don't give me five. So let's try to I won't read it today. It's practically simple to understand the problem. We are given a number interval like this one and nine that's the starting number and the ending number now we have to count the number of numbers that are inside excluding five in this kata you get the start and the end of a region and you should return the count of all numbers except the number five you can see when we split this number here without the five we have one to nine except five like here we've skipped from four to six so we excluded five. The same thing here, we've excluded five and we've excluded 15 because there's a five inside. One more thing to note is that the result can have five. Like if there were 15 numbers here, the result would be 15. That one, there's no problem there. All right, so what do we need to do? I just started with a small console log to console the, the start and the end. I can just remove that. I am going to copy these examples here so that we can use to always view and I'm going to go to full screen. Oh, I just made a mistake there. So many, I just made a mistake and click somewhere else. All right, let's go back to full screen and I'm going to make this large. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do for this example. We need to be able to loop from the start to the end. We can do that using a for, a for loop. So, basically, I have a for loop with a looping variable i that starts at the starting number and ends at uh, the ending number. The n is inclusive because as you can see from here, it starts on 4 and actually ends with 17, not 16. It ends at 17. That is why I include the last number. And then we go incrementally one, up, one number after the other. Inside this loop, what are we going to do with every number? We have to check if there is a 5 inside. Now, um, I cannot just, I will not just say if this number is equal to 5 because we have cases where this is 15 and in 15 we have to examine the two numbers that are inside the 1 and 5 to check if there is a 5. And one of the best ways to do that is to take the number and convert it into an array so that we can look through the sub numbers like in the case of 15 we we'll look through 1 and 5 again and check if there is a 5 inside. And uh, I'll have to take the number and convert into an array again. And for me to do that, I have to convert it to a string, which means I'm going to take the number as I'm looping to progressively one number after the other. I'll take that number and convert to a string like this and convert into an array like this. Let me show you what I mean on the console here. right i want to bring the console so that you can see okay the console is coming right here let's enter the node.js console node like this and i'm going to declare a variable i to be equal to three so if i take that and convert to a string we get this and if i split like this i get it into an array that's what I'm actually wanting to do. Why is this important? Because it's important in the scenario where let's imagine I was equal to 15 and I repeat what I just did. We have an array of one and five where we can look through and check if there is five inside. That's what I just did here. And I'm going to take this and put into a constant call my number array, something like that. When I have that, I have to examine this this array to check if there is a five inside so I can filter like let's 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 redo this thing 
um let's change i and put it to be 500 and to so be 315 for example if i redo this and put it inside a g inside a constant let's just call it an array like this array becomes something like that this has been splitted to three one and five and so i can filter the array I filter every digit that is inside and, I'm, and I distinguish every digit that is equal equal to 5 this time around in quotes because it has it's an array of, str of strings this time not numbers so you see if we, we have filtered this array and check if there is a 5 inside if you return something it means there's a 5 inside if it returns nothing then it means there is no 5 so we have to be taking care of those who return nothing so let's apply this logic here inside our code here i'm going to filter this number array here and check if there is a five and put it inside an, a constant called uh, five counts if you wish like this so it counts the number of five that are inside ideally i don't want to have a five remember the name of the exercise is don't give me fives so i have to check if um If the number of fives inside because remember when you filter it, re it returns a sub array this is an array here and so this is an array five counts i can just return the length here so that i get uh the exact number of five that are inside and uh if there is no five inside that is if the number of five the five counts is equal equal to zero that is what we want we are going to to keep count of the number of digits that are inside we're going to be have constitute this this element here we're going to have this result if you wish so i need to have therefore a variable called results equal to zero where when i look through my numbers and i get no five i increment my result so inside result I'm going to increment and at the end of all of this loop i'm going to return results so let's do it one more time first i have to look through the start to the end that is the first for loop and then as i'm going through every number i convert it into an array this this part is very important especially when we start having double digits so when i convert into an array like for this scenario of 1 and 10 i filter to to see how many fives are inside i count the number of fives that are inside if there is no five it means this number has no it means this number has no five it will be part of our result i increment the result that's basically it at the end of the day i return the result so let's snap out of this full screen and test our algorithm to see how that works right so let's um attempt i have an error why do i have an error let's check that let's try to debug this thing is because here yeah, the follow uses a semicolon here line five all right let's attempt again we've passed and let's submit and go through the algorithms of other people and see if there are alternatives right so this is practically the same thing we had the count for our case it was result here and we had our first for loop that starts at start and ends at end and instead of filtering the array this is what he did he used a regular expression to check if this number contains a five inside does not contain a five because this um exclamation sign negates uh, this is a regular expression testing this number if there's no five this is shorter and uh i think it's more efficient than what we did because we had to convert to string and array that takes an extra memory this is more efficient all right um this is somebody like did like us 
exact same thing convert to a string and then an array and checks if it includes five the same thing just a shorter line this is also more efficient not not more efficient but cleaner if you wish cleaner to write all right this is um just shorter to write but i think it's the same thing like this one yeah this one has used to string but this is another way to convert to string you add it with empty quotes so this is this he took the number convert to string and then check if it includes five it's the same thing here if you check where and it looks shorter because he has changed the variable names and added letters this so this is the same thing like here but a little bit less readable all right this is the same thing like what we just read here and uh, this is the same thing like the one we wrote convert it to an array and filter and check if there's a five inside if not return minus one take the length this is just another way to write as we wrote our own algorithm no difference in performance even though it's few lines yeah Uh, this one is using a lot of mathematics this is crazy let's see so it does modulo division to check if because if there's a five in a number it means it's divisible by five stuff like that um i'm going to leave this one for the mathematicians all right this is maybe a lot more computation than necessary well i'm going to stop here i think the first two solutions are very much efficient and self-explanatory and just good right so thanks for viewing and don't forget to subscribe and see you in another challenge